Nunez Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading session, the 3rd of August 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com. Also, download the latest app from Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading uh, providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the stats for the day, folks. Okay, so first of all, European session, FTSE up 63, DAX down negative uh, due to Siemens. French CAC high, even though Mr. Macron's approval rating certainly deteriorated. FTSE MIB, IBEX and stock 600 all certainly finishing more or less flat stroke positive. Okay, uh, FTSE MIB really the only uh, prolific gainer at 1%. Uh, in terms of US at the moment, it's currently around 7 o'clock. Uh, US markets certainly all in the ne in negative or in the red, uh, mainly due to the fact that Asian markets certainly were subdued overnight, certainly under pressure. Okay, so economic data out from the U.S. certainly has been lacklustre, okay, to a, to a large extent, given the fact that it's failed to trigger a rally in the S&P 500. Uh, a lot of the economic data came out stronger than expected. It was just a one ISM data that certainly uh, propelled the dollar to the lows. We had PMI certainly stronger, services PMI stronger, jobless claims certainly coming in stronger i.e. lower than expected and therefore stronger for jobs data. ISM manufacturing non-PMI certainly is the one that certainly hurt the market. Factory orders came in stronger as well. Uh, I think the the major move of the day really today was a weakness in sterling on the back of uh, Mr. Carney and his comments regarding uh, the uh, uh, potential future outlook for the UK economy. Okay, so that certainly is the summation. Now let's look at the aftermath in terms of the technical picture. Okay, so German DAX at the moment certainly consolidating sideways, certainly has put in a potential triple bottom here on the 10 minute chart, as you can see. Okay, so whether or not if we can build a base here and actually project high up 12,300, certainly that will be the focus, okay, going forward. Daily chart, the German DAX again, you're still holding that key diagonal trend line, looking to potentially move higher up to 12,400 now. It's whether or not we can actually uh, confirm a potential pivot top in the euro. Uh, Euro GBP certainly moving higher. Euro dollar at the moment certainly holding that double top scenario. Uh, the, the potential pivot top here is seen at uh, 1.1909 uh, and oh, should we say 1. 1.1910 uh, and the pivot high today has been 1.893. So the euro certainly continues to climb, continues to climb. Even though overwhelmingly the US data was strong, it was just one piece of information that was weaker and that literally trigger the uh, the actual euro rally okay so that's your that's the status quo there in terms of the french cac let's bring up the french cac for you again it finished weak towards the close as you can see a uh, daily chart at the moment is trading sideways again it's all about that unfilled gap at 5060 like it looks like it wants to target that again on the back of mr macron now the uh, the chart itself is building a base around the 5090 level. You have resistance around the 5140 and then the unfill gap above. So it's all about that uh, key support of 5090. Let's see if we can hold uh, and uh, certainly move from there. 10 minute chart for now certainly is into resistance into that 5140 zone. You're looking at potentially moving lower, especially given the fact that the euro is currently around the 1.1870 zone. And therefore that's risk negative for European equities. In terms of the euro stock, let's just bring up the euro stocks for you. Okay, 10 minute chart, it pushed up to 3470 before it certainly looked like it was into resistance and it certainly wants to move lower as long as the euro remains in that 1.1870 zone. Again, euro, European equities certainly will be lackluster now. If the euro puts in a potential top, which euro GBP is indicating uh, so, given the fact that ECB were certainly hawkish today, some comments from the ECB. Therefore, you are looking for this potential triple bottom on the euro stocks to hold and for us to certainly mount a potential reversal rally. So all eyes on that, folks. That's what I would focus on for now, okay, in terms of the market itself, okay. Now, looking at the FTSE 100, let's look at the FTSE itself. It seems like the market has latched on to the fact that uh, the BOE certainly will be good dovish going forward and therefore they've certainly utilised that as an excuse to buy European or UK equities and that certainly seems to be the focus at the moment. You currently have resistance of 7485, if you break that you're looking at 7515 and then potentially up to 7560 and then even retesting up to that 7600 zone on the back of a potential dovish BOE. The 10 minute chart certainly has the uh, bullish channel breaking lower and therefore you're looking to potentially retest that breakout zone at 7430 
let's see if we can uh, actually uh, you uh, see that in action okay so all eyes on that okay all eyes on the FTSE at 7485 if that breaks then you have 7490 7500 and then 7515 as key resistance zones on the FTSE 100 okay so uh, bear in mind you do have the unfilled gap left behind up to, uh, to 7370 so let's see how the market unfolds there okay so that's a summation really of um, EU equities uh, in terms of the uh, uh, trade signal app, please be sure to uh, certainly download it via Google Play and Apple App Store, and you can download at www.tradesignal.com too. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.